Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a comic using Make Beliefs Comics. This is a great little tool designed for students to use to create comics, even if they've never made a comic before. Let's go ahead and click on Begin Now. And we can sign in using a Google account, or you can sign up using any old username and password that you want to set for yourself. Click the register if you need to sign up that way, or log in with Google. And I'll log in with my Google account right now, so I can save my work in progress as I go. Now you'll see here that we have three frames by default, but we can add up to 18 panels or 18 frames. And let's just call this one a fun story by Richard. Now, from here, we can start to select different things down here in our bottom menu, different characters, animals, uh, speech balloons, objects, all kinds of different things we can pick from down here at the bottom. I'm going to start by adding in a background and I'll use this background right here and apply that to that frame. Now I want to use that background for all three frames. So I'm just going to click each frame and then click the background each time. You can see how I can do that. So I can move that. Now on each one of these frames, if I want to adjust the scale of it, I can just click on the scale button and scale it up or scale it down. See there, I've just scaled it way up. And I can move it. There we go. Now let's go back over here and I want to add some characters. So I need to click on the back button the back button down here, let's add some characters. And in here, we'll find a gallery of characters that we can pick from. There they are. And you can see a whole bunch of different ones in here. I'm just going to use this little stick figure. So I'll choose that little stick figure to use in my comic. And when I choose him, you'll see there that we have four different versions. I'll use this one and put that into my comic frame. So there it is. Now that it's in my frame, I can further adjust it. I can simply click on the character and then click to move the character around. Again, I can scale it by clicking on it and making it smaller or larger. Then I'll go back and move it around and move my character. Now I want to go back and add in some dialog boxes or speech balloons. And so let's add a little speech balloon and we'll go up here and simply write something like, it's a great day outside. So I've now created the beginning of my little comic. Now I can repeat all those steps for each one of these frames. But let's say I'm done. Well, I want to print it out or share it with my friends. So here it is. Let's go ahead and now print it. And I have my little frame that I can print. Or I might fill this out and email it to my friends. Save it directly on my computer by clicking Save Image to Disk. Or save it online in my Make Beliefs Comics account. Now there are some other features of Make Believe's Comics that I should point out to you. Number one, there is support for 14 languages. 
The second thing I should point out to you is that there is a great gallery of free ebooks full of writing prompts and comic prompts. You can take a look at any of those ebooks. You can download them by simply clicking on them and you can fill them in. There's the inside of one of those books. And you can also go to your comic starters up here at the top and you'll find some other ideas for starting your comics. Let's go to all comic starters. And you'll see a list of comic starters or story prompts. So that's a short overview of how you can create a comic using Make Beliefs Comics. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.